Yahoo is four. Cavi's Clown five. Pegwell Bay six. Beautiful jump by Desert Orchid. Takes him within a length of uh, ten plus. In third, Charter Party. Slalom was a faller there. Yahoo is fourth. Bally Hain is back in fifth now. Five from home. Ten plus landed in the lead. From Desert Orchid second. Charter Party third. Yahoo four. Bally Hain five. Cavi's Clown six. Running downhill now. And... It's four to jump now with 10 plus with a four length advantage over Desert Orchid still in there fighting. Yahoo coming there, he loves the mud on the far side. Charter Party in fourth. 10 plus Desert Orchid, then Yahoo, then Charter Party, then Bally Hayne. Racing down now towards the third last in the Gold Cup, and as they do so, it's 10 plus being pressed by Desert Orchid, then Yahoo. Behind them comes Charter Party. This is the third last now. Desert Orchid and 10 plus is gone. He's left Desert Orchid in the lead. It's Desert Orchid now as they race to the home turn from Yahoo. Chasing him all the time and trying to get up on the inside with Charter Party third. Desert Orchid and Yahoo now as they race round the home turn. There's very little between them. Yahoo on the far side. He's gone on now from Desert Orchid towards the near side. Yahoo from Desert Orchid and Desert Orchid looks as though he's tiring in the ground. Yahoo who loves the mud is full of running at the second last. Yahoo jumps from Desert Orchid, but Desert Orchid is running. He's trying to come again towards the north side. It's Yahoo on the far side, Desert Orchid towards the near side. Desert Orchid to the south running as they come to the line. Yahoo on the far side, Desert Orchid on the north side. It's Desert Orchid on the north side, Yahoo on the far side. Desert Orchid drifts it over towards the south side. He's beginning to get up. Desert Orchid is beginning to get up as he moves towards the line. There's a tremendous cheer from the crowd. And Desert Orchid is going to win it. Desert Orchid is going to go and cut the hole in the Third is John Abadi. Simon Sherwood punches the air. In this moment, just everybody wants to get close to well, Desert's going, Desert Orchid's getting a fair massage in from his Desi and Richard Bunch. A strip rider. Uh, seven more fences to jump. And uh, gentlemen, will they catch the one in front, Mr Mulligan? Yeah, well, he's certainly going a good gallop. He's jumping really well for Tony McCoy. And at this stage, I'm pleased to see uh, Richard done when he moved away from Barton Bank. He wouldn't be the horse he wanted to uh, be tracking, but he's... He's a horse who comes onto the bridle very quickly, one man. He's just got a slap down the shoulder there, and if I take nods on about him, I think I'll be beginning to uh, get a slightly concerned. He's about five lengths adrift, is one man, the odds-on favourite, the King George, but it's still with five more fences to jump. Mr Mulligan, who leads, Barton Bank in second place. One man uh, hard on the bridle now is Mr Mulligan, who just nods on landing there, and Barton Bank makes a mistake and blunders away. So it's Mr Mulligan to one man in second place. This is the fourth from home, Mr Mulligan over to one man, and now rough quest the outside of Barton Bank. And the novice strong promise said can't live with them as they start to turn out of the back straight. And it's Tony McCoy on Mr. Mulligan. Clear by about five lengths, by four lengths now to one man in second. And Rough Quest is in third place. And they're turning for home. And it's one man under Richard Dunwoody going for his fourth King George win on the grey. One man, the odds on favourite coming up the outside of Mr. Mulligan and Tony McCoy. They're in the home straight, three to jump, and it's one man who leaps into the lead to Mr. Mulligan. Rough quest in third place, and they've got two more to jump now, and it's one man the outside of Mr. Mulligan, two out here, and one man to Mr. Mulligan in second. Rough quest in third, Barton Bank, and then strong promise, but it's bar a fall for one man as he comes down towards the final fence in the potent King George, and it's one man cleared by six lengths. This is the last. He's over safely, and Mr. Mulligan falls at the last. Rough quest through the second place, and as he race up towards the line, it's one man clear by 12 to 15 lengths, and at the line, one man is going to take it. Push down, but he wins it. One man is the winner. Rough quest, an honourable second. Barton Bank of Brave. From Clan de Zobo, lost in translation, riding behind him, and a little gap now growing to Bells Hill, who's losing his position, and then uh, Keeper Hill. So they go to the open ditch at the end of the back straight. Bristol de May, again, very neat, very accurate. Lost in translation, just a slight nod on landing, but a more significant one from Keeper Hill in fourth. Bells Hill is remote. Clown does oboe, meanwhile, sitting quietly in second under Sam Twist and Davis as they 
begin the swing for home. So the three of them who dominated the market here all have some sort of a chance as they head towards the last part of the turn. Lost in translation is the first one, however, to be uh, ridden along by Robbie Power. Back in third and Bristol de May just asked uh, a little bit more coming off the final part of the bend. Leads by a couple of lengths to Clanders over and lost in translation now, trying to bridge the gap. They close in on the fourth last. Bristol to May. Spring heel jumped it well. Clanders Obo inching closer. Lost in translation looking held. He hasn't found much under pressure and he's looking cooked now back in third. And it looks to be a straight fight between the grey Bristol de May and Clanders Obo, who's breezing into it on the left. Here's the last of the ditches. Bristol de May by only three parts of a length. Daryl Jacob glances across to his left. He should have looked right because Sam Twist and Davis has brought Clanders Obo on the near side, right alongside, heading towards the second last in the Betfair chase. Clanders Obo serves it up to Bristol de May, but the grey is plucky and he still just had the lead. And now Clanders Obo has to be ridden. They're miles clear of lost in translation. And it's Bristol de May who's pulled out a bit more, approaching the final fence, moving on. He jumps it well. He gets over it four clear from Clanders Obo now running on instinct. They've got half a furlong to cover and it's Bristol de May. Clanders Obo trying hard, but he isn't getting any closer. And it's the silver coated King of Haydock, Bristol de May, who regains his Betfair crowd. And Rooster Booster is running all over this leader into Sky Falcon. The hugely improved Rooster Booster. West Ender trying to make a race of it on the outside. Rhinestone Cowboy back in fourth place, approaching the final fight. He says, go on, Rooster Booster, who's jet propelled at the last. Rooster Booster, six or eight lengths clear and pulling further away from West Ender into Sky Falcon. Rhinestone Cowboy, self-defence from the rear, but Rooster Booster is storming up the Cheltenham Hill here in the hands of Richard Johnson and Rooster Booster wins the champion hurdle. It's a massive run in fifth, the long-time leader into Sky Falcon. In contrast, landing light, holy... Accurate leap from the leader, Monet's Garden. They send a few seagulls scattering, moving on towards another ditch. Monet's Garden from Alberta's run out. White Pocket are yet to be popped the question. Alberta's run booted into that one. I'm singing the blues. The nosebanders travel comfortably. Tartak is a couple of lengths off and watch my back bustled along still in last place. This completes the jumping in the back straight. Five from home. Monet's Garden a length up on landing from I'm Singing the Blues. Pocalan down at the running rail. McCoy just nudging away on Alberta's run. Tartak working into it on the inside as they race down the side of the course and on towards the fourth from home. So still five of them covered by a little more than three lengths. Monet's Garden trying to uh, shake off the challengers. Pocalan down the inside. I'm Singing the Blues in the centre. Still McCoy nudging away on Alberta's run. Then Tartak, I'm Singing the Blues, crashes out when holding every chance. Monet's Garden stalked around the final turn by Pocana. Tartak and Alberta's run a couple and stand. The old boy then uh, straightens for home with three left to jump Monet's Garden. But Pocana seemingly waiting in the wings. Barry Geraghty exuding confidence. Brennan's nudging away on Tartak in third. Then Alberta's run. Still Monet's Garden, but only a length up on landing. Pocana still to be asked a serious question. Now ranges up to challenge. Tartak has got three lengths to find. And then Alberta's run. Monet's Garden, the last ditch, two for from home, came up, led by a half length from Pocola. Now Geraghty has to nudge away, and the old boy finds a bit more. Monet's Garden on the run down towards the final fence. Pocola switched out to have another go at him. They've drawn well away from Tartak, so Pocola trying to spoil the Monet's Garden party as he ranges up towards the final fence. Pocola and Monet's Garden as one. It could be all on the jumping. Monet's Garden, the far side, by a whisker from Pocola. Monet's Garden goes up, up the run in. A length up, Pocola is digging in, brave for Geraghty's urchings, but Monet's Garden is finding plenty for Dougie Costello. A final thrust from Pocola, not enough. Back at his beloved entry, and it's three old roan chases for Monet's Garden. Pocolin's back in second. Stake there by Midnight Hayes. Calgary Bay still going, as is Weird Al. Likewise, the red cap of Kappa Blur. And then Neptune Equester towards the back with Tharawart. That time, Shakalaka Boom Boom's turn to outjump Planet of Sound, who's being ridden along. Sunny Hill Boy makes progress. Weird Al was a faller back in the field. So Shakalaka Boom Boom, Planet of Sound. Seabass, Hello Bud, the grey Neptune Colonge. Sunny Hill Boy, Banner Briggs, jumped that well into seventh. Incom 
compliance Kappa Blur, Calgary Bay, Rider lost the iron, swerving to avoid a loose horse, Swing Bill goes past him, then behind these a couple of lengths back to Calgary Bay, Midnight Haze, the Midnight Club still going, so is Tarawat and Neptune Equesta, but a leading group had clustered up of eight runners, begin the turn back, plenty of chances despite the depleted field. So as they make the turn back towards home, Katie Walsh on the outside on Seabass now lays it down to Barry Geraghty on Shakalaka Boom Boom. These are the first two. Hello, Bud. And then on that one's outside, Sunny Hill Boy. Next is Bala Briggs, who is now creeping into contention with Neptune Colange on the inside and in compliance, a right around the outside. In compliance, jumps to the outside of Sunny Hill Boy, followed by Seabass, Shakalaka Boom Boom, and then the yellow of Neptune Colange, followed by Hello, Bud. And then Bala Briggs and Kappa Blur continues to come on. The final fence of the Grand National and on the outside, Sunny Hill Boy. And on the inside of him, that is Seabass. These are the first two. Neptune Colange is battling on in third, followed in fourth by In Compliance. Shakalaka Boom Boom. And then Bala Briggs, who begins to rally around the outside. They go around the elbow. Sunny Hill Boy and Richie McLaren have got the lead over Seabass and Katie Walsh. Neptune Colange and Daryl Jacob, they've got another 150 yards to go. Sunny Hill Boy with Neptune Colange on the outside, bearing down, racing towards the line. Sunny Hill Boy and Neptune Colange in a head bobbing, pulsating finish. <laughs>